Hi, my name is Leah Day, and today I'd like to give you a little bit of information about my new embroidery CD, Expressions of Textures. This embroidery CD, it was um, a joint project with Janome America. Uh, they contacted me and said, hey, you want to put some of your quilting designs on a CD? And I said, sure, why not? <laughs> so uh, we worked together on this. I did not digitize these myself. I don't know digitizing yet. It's one of my goals, so something to learn. Uh, so it was digitized by Janome. Uh, all of the designs were set up to uh, work on pretty much any embroidery machine. And this is comp computerized embroidery, meaning you're going to get a disc. You need to put that into your computer, uh, uh, transfer it to a flash drive, and then transfer that through the flash driver to your embroidery machine. So uh, all of this is kind of new to me. Uh, it's really opened up a whole new way of designing and playing with quilting. And I certainly plan on doing a lot more with it, but let me show you really quick what we've got on this particular CD and what you can do with it. Just some ideas. So here's all of the designs that I've stitched out from the embroidery CD. Uh, we've got 40 four inch squares and so they're going to stitch out something like this and these are resizable designs so you can make them slightly bigger slightly smaller I think by 20 percent on your machine if you import the files into embroidery software you can of course adjust it even more if you want to so these are four inches and you can see the variety of textures and designs and these were taken if they look familiar to you they were taken directly from the designs that I stitch out for the free motion quilting project. So if you've seen these uh, images, that's where you've seen it, or from the book, 365 free motion quilting designs. So I just really enjoyed seeing these stitch out and having access to all these beautiful textures. It's just really wonderful. Um, I also designed, these are special. They're longer eight by four inch uh, kind of bars. And I designed them in this way so that you could kind of butt them up against one another and kind of create like a long quilted chain if you wanted to. Um, after getting everything done, I realized that this is actually pretty challenging to kind of connect these together. So how I would stitch it out if I was designing something new with this, I would stitch out each one individually and then connect it together with a quilt as you go technique, like a binding strip of some sort on that end. And that's gonna make it a lot easier to put these side by side. However, I do have these that are kind of the half circle and, um, let me grab the other side of it, uh, circle, we've got this big oval and then we've got these two half ovals and these can come together really easily. So basically you'll set up your a long strip of fabric, select this embroidery design first, stitch it out, uh, make sure that you have a center line kind of crease down your fabric and then switch, you know, move your hoop up on the fabric, center this up and go on ahead and stitch out the next one. You can create nice long strips with these two designs and they'll look really cool. So that's the wiggly tentacles. And then I did this again, this kind of idea again with this sun landscape. I just really, really love this kind of sun landscape design and so these two go together really well too so that's just another idea of something that you can do kind of matching these up together we also have an eight inch block this is a texture block uh, it's really funky one thing that you could do is kind of put that in the center and stitch out some of these four inch squares to go around it and that would look just beautiful to connect everything together, I actually did create this uh, kind of Christmassy table runner. There, you know, there's not really any kind of cohesive uh, design style. I just kind of grabbed a variety. We've got, you know, really funky textures. We've got hearts. Uh, this is some pebbles in a stream, some flower designs. They all kind of really work together. But I noticed that I had several designs that work in a Christmas theme. So this is chain of holly berries, and I did kind of match this up, uh, you know, one design and then changed hoops and rehooped it right on top of the next one. This was challenging, I will be honest. It is possible to do, but it was challenging. Um, one thing that would actually help is leave a little bit of space and go in and free motion quilt between them, and that would be definitely easier. So uh, I, wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't take that on again, honestly. Uh, but in order to connect these together, how I did it, was simply uh, connect the four inch strips together with a one inch strip 
and that creates this little half inch, it's like just piece, uh, one inch strip to this block with a quarter inch seam and then flip over that strip, that binding strip and stow it to this block with a quarter inch seam and then you'll end up with this little half inch binding on top and you can do that to connect everything together and then I, um, I didn't use backing on any of these pieces to save on fabric so I just did a really quick pillowcase bind on this and this was so super fast actually stitching out the embroideries took more time on this than actually finishing it and binding it so it was a really fun project really quick again um, you know if you want to take on trying to match these up together you can but honestly I think that these long strips are going to work out so much better if you just kind of select which designs that you like kind of lay them out and just use that binding that one inch binding strip to connect them together I think that's going to work out a lot better except for the oval and the half circle these can match up really easily because you're not trying to like connect the lines together and stuff uh, I will admit this is this is a totally new way of designing for me and so you can kind of match this up and get it even and you don't have to have like the lines budding up perfectly together so I hope you can see how excited I am about this it's been lots of fun to just take these designs and see what they do see how they stitch out and then see what I can do with them and um, this was kind of a quick video just some ideas of stuff that you can do if you're really really interested in knowing how to you know like connect the pieces together in that way I can try and shoot a video on it like I said um, they were digitized in a way where it doesn't make that facilitate that to be very easy uh, it is possible what's what's far easier in my opinion is to stitch out the designs as they are designed and then connect them together trim them down and then connect them together with the one one inch binding strips and that really is the easiest method I have found to put them together and you can make such a variety of different wall hangings and you could even make a handbag with this it's kind of they're stiffer because of course they're densely quilted they're on my favorite scale uh, so they are going to be stiffer they're not something you would want to make a bed quilt with but they are certainly something that you can make a beautiful wall hanging table runner bag you know any of those types of things so i hope that you will check this out and enjoyed seeing some of these designs close up i certainly enjoyed stitching this out and kind of having something stitching in the other room it kind of felt like there were two Leah's <laughs> stitching at the same time so that was really fascinating for me and I cannot wait to get into more of this stuff so be looking for more embroideries coming soon until next time let's go quilt <laughs>